Okay, so, so my name is Benjamin Rubin. I'm a postdoc here at the Electric Propulsion and Plasma Engineering Lab at Mechanical Engineering Department at uh, CSU. And uh, we work mostly on electric propulsion, which is advanced uh, propulsion for spacecraft. It's being used on many satellites, on interplanetary deep space uh, spacecraft. This is the, the thruster, and as you can see, the blue kind of loop is the actual plasma current loop that we are trying to measure using the magnetic sensors. And uh, you can, that's where the electrons are trapped, and with that, that, that blue, this blue that you're seeing is literally the plasma that's kind of being output, and that creates the thrust for the thruster. So we don't want to interfere in, into that plasma discharge. We want to do non-contact measurement. And that's what we are doing. We're using magnetic sensors that can measure the magnetic field produced by the current in thruster, in plasma. And then from that magnetic field, we can solve, it's called the inverse problem, and then we can know what's the current inside of the thruster is. And from that, we can know how, like, what's the health of the thruster, is everything right, or if something's wrong, we can try to figure out from that data what caused that. And besides, we can calculate the thrust in real time. Uh, all thrusters are used on satellites and interplanetary spacecraft. They're the kind of a, another means of propulsion other than chemical rockets. And uh, right now there's no real-time measurement system for thrust. It's kind of like they turn them on, see how far they go, and then turn them back off. And that's kind of how much, and they, they back calculate how much thrust it was produced. And so what we plan on doing was we built, uh, we were planning on implementing a sensor array inside this thruster so we could directly correlate the plasma current that's formed from the thruster. If you can know in real time what's the thrust of this thruster, then you can basically uh, control the, thru the satellite better. You can do formation flying spacecraft that control their relative position. For satellites, it's more of a station keeping. It keeps it, the satellite in the same place for uh, making sure it's in the right place for orbits, for communication satellites, like geosynchronous satellites, GPS and stuff like that. And then for deep space spacecraft, it's used as propulsion because it's a lot more efficient than chemical, and so it can be used on those missions that take decades. As the world moves towards this new frontier of technology and exploration and just, <laughs> just exploring the universe, it should be quite exciting. I think we're just knocking on the door.